Hey travel friends, it's Stu here from Travel Season. Welcome back to our channel. We recently got back from a trip to Las Vegas, Nevada. We were visiting the area for a friend's wedding and we stayed at the Venetian Hotel on the Las Vegas Strip. In this video, we're gonna show you guys our room, which was a luxury king suite. We're also gonna talk about some of the pros and cons of staying at this resort in Las Vegas. If you've ever been to Las Vegas before, all of the hotels on the Las Vegas Strip are incredible. They all have something unique to offer. However, my preference is to stay at the Venetian or the Palazzo. These two resorts are connected. You can access either of the pools if you're staying at either one. So if you're staying at the Venetian, you can walk to the Venetian pools or the Palazzo pools. Uh, you can access the whole casino area for both of them. The clubs, the day clubs, the restaurants, it's all connected. So if you're staying at the Venetian or the Palazzo, you are welcome to visit any of the gyms, pools, clubs, restaurants, all included in that hotel. You are going to pay a resort fee, which we'll get to later. The number one reason I choose to stay at the Venetian or the Palazzo when I visit Las Vegas is because these hotels are part of the IHG rewards program. I tend to stay at Holiday Inn Express's, Staybridge Suites, Candlewood Suites, those types of hotels when Nate and I are traveling. We like to get points with that system. Being an IHG rewards member is very helpful at the check-in process too at this resort because you have a tiny little line for Invited guests is what they call it. And everybody that's not an IHG rewards member has to go in this very long winding line that kind of looks like a TSA line at the airport. Another thing I really enjoy about this hotel is the size of the rooms. We booked a luxury king suite, which I'm going to walk you through here now. Our suite is over 600 square feet, which is much larger than the typical hotel room in Las Vegas. I've stayed at the Bellagio, I've stayed at Harrah's, I've stayed at the Trump Hotel, I've stayed at the MGM Grand, and all of those hotels that I've stayed at have been nice, um, but I always prefer to come back to this one based on the ISG rewards program and the size of this room. One of my favorite things about this room that just makes it feel luxurious to me is that there's a remote control on the wall to control the blinds. <laughs> That's my favorite thing about the room. You can press the button on the wall to make the blinds go up and down and close the blinds. I don't know why I like that so much, but it makes me happy. Other things about the room that are great is you have a whole dining seating area space. So if you have friends hanging out with you in Vegas and you want them to come hang out at your room, there's an open seating area. They can sit, talk, watch TV. You have your own little bed area. And then the bathroom is huge. The bathroom has its own little closable door for the toilet area. You have a tub, you have a nice shower and the sink area is nice as well. Everything in the room is very detailed, has a nice molding, accents of gold, and it just feels very luxurious when you're there, and I like it a lot. The cons of the hotel room, the number one con for me is the lighting. The lighting is terrible in these rooms. Uh, for women trying to do makeup to go out at night, it is way too dark, and it's hard to match your foundation to your face <laughs> because the lighting is terrible. If you don't really care about the lighting, then it's not a huge deal for you. Uh, if you do care about the lighting, then, you know, it might be a problem. Another con about the bathrooms in this hotel is there aren't any vents in the bathroom, uh, which is kind of a bummer, uh, especially when you like have the shower going and it gets really steamy in there. Uh, or if you're using a lot of products like hair products and stuff and it smells, then, you know, that smell doesn't really go away. These rooms all come with a mini bar area that is weighted. So if you're planning on staying at this hotel and you don't want to use the mini bar, just don't touch anything because even if you touch something over there, the weights will log it as if you took something from the mini bar and they will bill you for it. So just stay away from the mini bar if you don't want anything from that area.
One thing about this resort that could be a pro or a con, uh, for me, I like this. My friends, on the other hand, did not like this. It is a huge resort and it can feel like a maze sometimes when you're walking around. They will offer you a map at check-in if you are unfamiliar with the resort. The last time we stayed at the Venetian was in 2019 and I thought, oh, I remember this resort, fine, I don't need a map. And then we had a hard time finding the room, we had a hard time finding Tao, uh, the restaurant, so we just had a hard time getting around. And I thought I had remembered where things were, but I clearly did not. Um, so if you are new to the hotel, definitely get a map at check-in so that you can figure out your way around. In spring of 2022, the Venetian and Palazzo Resorts reopened the Tao Beach Day Club. They revamped it, remodeled it as like a full day club experience. They actually had the grand opening the weekend before we visited, so it was very exciting to come to this day club for a day. John Summit was the DJ performing when we were there. The pool area is nice. There are some like areas you can lay out on the pool or like jump and dance and listen to the music. There's a big open dance area right in front of the DJ booth. And this day club is set up with a lot more table areas. We've been to quite a few day clubs in Vegas and this one just seemed to have a lot more like VIP areas than just a big open area for everyone. Which can be good or bad depending on your budget. <laughs> When we visited, they told us at check-in that entrance to the day club was free for guests of the Venetian or Palazzo Hotel. So if you are into house music, uh, DJs, dancing, that kind of like fun day club experience, then definitely check out Tao Beach Day Club. I'm not sure how long they were going to allow guests to enter for free. Uh, so maybe check on that before your stay. I didn't visit the gym this time around, but the fitness center is very nice at the Venetian and Palazzo. It's one of the larger fitness centers in hotels on the Las Vegas Strip. So if you're into the fitness scene, this is a great hotel for that as well. All of these amenities, like using the pools, the fitness center, there's also a spa are included under your resort fee. The resort fee is around $50 a night, which is a little steep. Uh, I think every hotel on the strip basically has a resort fee now, so it's not something you can really avoid if you wanna stay right on the strip, um, but just keep that in mind as you're booking your room that there is going to be an additional charge for every day's resort fee when you check out. There are a ton of things to do on the Las Vegas Strip. There are so many things to do, it's hard to decide sometimes. Honestly, you could stay at the Venetian for five days in a row and not even do everything there is to do in the Venetian. There are gondola rides that can take you through the shopping area into the outside area where a man will serenade you as he rows you down the <laughs> little canal that they built in there. There are luxury shops, there are gift shops, shops for basically every budget level, some delicious gelato shops, two food courts, I think. I'm pretty sure there are like 12 pools here. There are a handful of fine restaurants as well. This time we went to the Grand Lux Cafe a few times. We really enjoyed that experience. The Grand Lux Cafe is right near the casino on the first floor if you plan on grabbing a bite to eat there. And that basically wraps up this video, guys. So in conclusion, the Venetian and Palazzo Hotels are one of my favorite places to stay in Las Vegas based on the size of the room, all of the amenities at the resort, the location on the Las Vegas Strip, and because it's part of the IHG Rewards Club program. If you have any other favorite spots on the Las Vegas Strip or in the Venetian or Palazzo hotels you'd like to visit, leave a comment under this video so others can find some great tips for visiting the area. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Have a great day and happy travels!